Now, in more local news, the federal government is set to pay 500 million Naira fines to secure the freedom of 4,000 inmates from correctional facilities across Nigeria. Now, that's according to the Minister of Interior, Olubumi Tunjiojo. Speaking on plans to decongest correctional facilities, the minister said 4,000 inmates are in prison over their inability to pay a total of over 500 million Naira in fines. He assured that the inmates would be released in the next four weeks. Now, Arise News analyst Dayo Shobuala joins us to discuss the arguments and counter-arguments by the minister and the human rights lawyer Femi Falana San on the decision by the federal government. Good to have you again. Very warm welcome and a happy start to the week for you. Right. Let you be as usual. Great. Now, Good afternoon, sir. Aaron. Yes. Let's get straight into it. Um, there are so many ways to decongest the prisons. Are there, is there any merit to us forking out 500 million naira during the kind of fiscal crisis we're experiencing currently in Nigeria? Uh, it's not a monetary affair. It's, it's a decongestion issue. And uh, even Falano has commended the minister for that. But you know, Falano is a lawyer. He's asking for a review as if he's before a judge. But they are working in the same direction. Uh, my own take is that the minister is the man on the seat and he has taken a decision at least that will decongest the prison of at least 4,000 people. Get me? What Falano is asking is a very major thing and that in the final analysis is what has to be done. And that should have even have been done earlier. And I'm sure it was being done until the issue of terrorism and banditry and all these things came in, and then the prison is called totally decongested. Worry decongested the prison during uh, COVID on humanitarian grounds. So it, instead of following asking for a review, he has commanded the minister, he should tell the minister to accelerate action on what he has suggested, which is that this, the, 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 the primary functions of judges visit prisons and ask for some people to be let out. Whether if they have stayed too long, if the punishment, uh, even if the fine that they have said they should pay, I mean, it's such that it is relevant now. And they have stayed even longer than their prison time will be, even if they are eventually settled, uh, sentenced. So it's a complementary effort. I will look at it from that way. Let the minister proceed on his course. And in addition to that, listen to what Falagno has said. And I'm sure if they accelerate all that, if the chief judges, if the uh, CJ and the chief judges do what has been suggested, or what customary and constitutionally they are supposed to have been doing, then I think we'll get some congestion of the, of the prisons. Um, some would say that um, the Nigerian judicial system has let several of these inmates down because, like you mentioned, there are some cases that should have been reviewed, but the slow and the slow grinding nature of our judiciary has actually almost forgotten some people in the correctional services hands, literally. Yeah, and I, I, I won't blame the judiciary alone. Okay. You get me? You see, what of the justice system, the legal system, you are presumed innocent until found guilty. Yes. Uh, but look at the policing, at the rate at which they charge people to court. In Nigeria, mostly they charge people, they detain people before investigation. Yes, they do. Why will they detain them? You see, the, that's part of the congestion. Get me? If you have excessive policy, get me? That should not be missing that preacher that say that the police should not do its work. Exactly. But if because at the every police, drop of your heart, um, you charge people, detain people, where yeah, is the habitat? We are always to accommodate them. No, but That's the sort but, of but thing but we are judiciary talking about. serves mm -hmm. as a linchpin between the police and the correctional service. No, and the judiciary. Yes, or they are the conduits the between the police and the correctional service. They are part of the judicial process. I mean, the justice system. Yes. Distinguish that from the judicial system. The justice system involves the police and the investigation. Mm -hmm. uh, which is the judge is to interfere with and sentence. Yes. Uh, that is when uh, you talk of congestion. But in some instances, people have been detained. 
You get me? Under investigation, without the result of the investigation or being before being charged to court. That is what is happening now that the courts are congested. But you see, the law realizes that this sort of situation can happen. That is why it gave powers to judges. Judges, at times, maybe end of the year, they go around. My friends who are judges, who are uh, CJs, they go around and they free some people. But you see, the rate of at which the place is getting con congested is far, far faster than the rate at which the justice system is dispensing justice, you get me, or making our punishment. While you're on that point, because yeah. I don't want yeah. us to sweep this, the financial aspect of this under the rug. Yes. While you're on that point that, you know, of course, we know that pardoning is part of the process. There's so many ways that prisoners can be pardoned. Right. And Femi Falana is saying that why doesn't this 500 million go towards the welfare of prisoners? Yes. Why are we using this 500 million for fines? Okay. So, so wait, the 500 million. So that we turn the prisons to an hotel for them to enjoy themselves? It's, it's not... Um, you they just you enjoy basic human rights. We are talking of decongestion. It's different from welfare of inmates. Yes, but decongestion... See, they can, can go party pass. But de decongestion doesn't need money, is the point Decon that I'm making. Who said that? Well, you just said That's that the, part of the, it. the justices... No, no, the, no. Because this is for fines. No, this no. particular Look, money I is see for fines. It is, even your concern that it's a fiscal issue is misplaced. This is a welfare issue. This is welfare justice system. Don't look at everything in terms of fiscal uh, expenditure or extravagance. Why is there extravagance in this? This is an act of mercy. So to congest the prison and make people have their freedom instead of languishing in jail. But How do you see that the same act in terms be, of economics? But the same act can be done for free. Why? <laughs> because we no, can. Why, is, why not take be, care of people's that welfare? That see the justice system. You get me? It's a deterrent system. You get me? If you, I mean, if you, if you uh, do something against the state, they make out punishment for you to deter you so you don't do it again. See, in some places they make out harsh punishment. In some places they look of like, like Denmark, which has one of the best uh, uh, prison system in the world. They they treat you as if you are on. The course in the hope that you will come back. But then people have noticed that in, it is a very rich society. Eh? There is literally no poverty there. Eh? But you see, in situations where you have poverty, crimes proliferate because the gap between the rich and poor is widening. So the rich, the, the poor too, wants to have something there and they break the law in the no, process. But if this <clears throat> is becoming a German issue, mm. well, how is um, it a German issue? Oh. I'm talking it, about the I congestion see, of I the prison see, systems. I disagree that it is a pecuniary issue or fiscal issue. No. What the minister has done, the state, uh, it's okay on behalf of this issue. There should afford, always be a better way of doing it. There should be a, a better way like of, uh, of actually running systems. No, there are so and many, clearly, there are clearly so this many, way has yes, actually that is, led to that backlogs. Is and you mm -hmm. have probably almost exonerated um, the judiciary and their role, mm -hmm. and they are probably their snail-paced nature in dispensing justice and the right kind of justice that would help decongest the prisons. If you say I've exonerated them, that is your take. I don't buy it. Okay. But I'm trying to tell you that they have been doing what they needed to do. But, the but not rate fast of enough. Rate, the rate of influx of people into the prisons because of the justice system yes. is far higher then they could go around. I'm not holding If criminality is on not, the high, if criminality, you must was, have. If criminality is on the high, and now somebody wants to bail out some people to state money, what is wrong with that? So does this mean we now need to make uh, provisions what? for bail out, a bailout fund in of our annual sort. budget? And you can create one when it gets to your turn to the Minister <laughs> of Interior. <laughs> create your own fund. And that is no, why... See, look, there are other issues we need to discuss here. Yes. Like for now. In that place, you know, it's a human rights lawyer. Yes. He said, okay, these people who took part in the NSAS, you get me? That they should be let out because their cases have been burned. Mm -hmm. You didn't see that? Yeah. I, I take objection to that. Those who took part in the NSAS, 
who, who, who burnt places. They, those are the hoodlums who hijacked it. If they are to be tried, they must be tried. They burnt the, the files of the court. They did not burnt their own cases. Their cases are hung. So we should not stress human rights too far at the expense of the application of but justice. But you also know what that is your say, view on that? No, but you also know that they say that sometimes yes. they always say that justice delayed. Justice denied. Yes. Okay. So when um, the so answer has, has, has been a while right now. Is that, that, uh, is that not an expedition of justice? So that it is not denied. Answer has happened delayed. three years ago. Of course. We celebrated the three years. No, for, yes. We celebrated the third anniversary just a few days ago. Uh -huh. And we're still talking about people Fala no. still being held. Did you hear what I said, Farano said? Yes. What did he say? No, if you, like you just rightly said. He said, ah, like, he said they, they should, they should, should just release yeah, they should be let go. And no, I think, no. and they I think burnt, that is right. They burned the courts. Not Has it been proven? Uh, what? Has the courts proven that uh, these uh, men were the ones that perpetrated those acts? I don't know about that. Okay. But he's to mention it. How, he's holding brief for them. You can That's ask like, him. Exactly. Yeah. Why, what I don't like is language. Because their cases have been burned. How can people who burnt uh, the courts? Or let the cases are, are accused to have burnt the courts? That was what he said. You yes. can read it. Ask him to explain himself. <laughs> you cannot arbitrarily be releasing people when justice must take its course. So the 4,000 people, yes. we don't know what all their various crimes are. So You, you can go and find out. It, it, but 4,000 people, shoot, we are talking of a serious matter of the congestion. Eh? We are just looking at the 500 million. But don't look at the lives of those people. All right. uh, on humanitarian grounds. All yes. Right. At least so let us give kudos to the minister and let us thank uh, 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 Falano for the suggestions he has made, too. Mm -hmm. okay. Mr. Dario Chavale, spirited okay. as always. Thank you.